back in the late 80s, there was a sketch comedy show called The Tracy Ullman Show. And creator of the comic series Life in Hell, Matt Groening, was going to pitch his creation, Life in Hell, to be a series of animated shorts for the show. But in fear of losing the rights, he created a family of five yellow-skinned people called The Simpsons. The Simpsons shorts ran for 48 episodes until Fox wanted The Simpsons to be a full-on prime time series. So, on December 17th, 1989, Fox premiered the first episode of The Simpsons being a Christmas special titled Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. In other news, when I was younger, my dad took me to a thrift store near my house and I remember that they had a VHS section and I saw the VHS tape for The Simpsons Christmas Special, Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. So I asked my dad to get it for me and he did. So when I got home, we watched it straight away and it was great. We start out straight into the episode with Home and Marge being away to the school's Christmas pageant, which has a three and a half star rating. Then, after the pageant, we cut to the Simpsons at home, setting up for Christmas, and Homer makes the house look not so great. The next day, Homer is at the power plant and he finds out that he will not be getting a Christmas bonus this year. On the other side, Marge has to get rid of all the Christmas money because Bart gets a tattoo removed. And after, we see Homer and Marge in bed, and Homer tells Marge that he will do the Christmas shopping this year. Afterwards, at Moe's bar, Homer finds out that the mall is hiring Santas. So Homer takes the classes to become a mall Santa. When Homer is working as a mall Santa, Bart is there to pull off the Santa's beard, not knowing it's Homer. Then Homer is left with no job and allows him thirteen dollars. So Barney, having also been a mall Santa, takes Homer and Bart to Springfield Downs to bet on the dog, Whirlwind. But instead, Homer bets on the dog, Santa's little helper, who comes in. Here. So having lost, Bart and Homer leave the dog track. Sad, but while looking outside for winning tickets, Santa's little helper gets the boot from his owner and runs straight to home and Bart and they take him home and show the family and the episode wraps up. This episode does a great deal for setting the tone of the rest of the season with Flanders showing up and Homer showing his disdain for Patty and Selma and vice versa. Bart being mischievous, but also loving for his family and his dad. Homer showing that he'll do anything for his family. The only character that's really off is Lisa, being much more practical in the rest of the series compared to how she is here. Here she's cracking jokes like Bart and acting much more like an ordinary kid, which isn't how we know her today. She's like this for the rest of the first season now, but some noticeable differences in the episode then the rest of the series is the animation and look. I understand that this is the very late 80s, but the animation is very slow and jagged. I mean, this lady behind Homer and Marge doesn't even have a nose. Along with that, Burns' office looks entirely different and much smaller than it normally does. Moe's bar is blue instead of being green, and this background at the end of the episode is upside down. Also, the lack of a couch gag is somewhat odd, but it is nice for once to get straight into the episode without having to sit through the opening credits. Personally, my favorite parts of the episode is the one-liners and the jokes. For example, Bart saying there's only one fat man that brings them presents and it isn't Santa. When Homer's working as a mall Santa and the picture is taken, when he's in mid-bite of a kid's donut. And when Homer says he'll be better when Mrs. Claus's sisters are out of town. Overall, I love this episode. I could watch it even when it's not even close to Christmas time. It might be due to nostalgia, but I just think it's that good. I'll leave that up to you. Just go watch the episode.
and decide if it is worth everybody watching around Christmas.